mysteries and secrets um, hiding in this monastery are so strange and disturbing that they make books like the Da Vinci Code pale in comparison. Probably the most disturbing part is what new and shocking information it reveals about Jesus and the surprising clues that it is most likely a modern forgery. Perhaps the strangest tale I've heard in all of my studies of the New Testament was of Secret Mark, an apparently ancient gospel about Jesus and its mysterious discovery at the Marsava Monastery. Only 13 kilometers from Jerusalem, the Marsava Monastery is considered one of the oldest occupied monasteries in the world, hiding in the Kidron Valley. It is home to one of the most shocking discoveries about Jesus in the last hundred years. This is New York. In 1960, a world-famous historian in New York City announced that he had made an astonishing discovery while visiting Jerusalem. He visited the library at the Marsava Monastery, and he found a copy of an ancient letter by Clement of Alexandria, which quotes from a gospel not in the Bible, called the Secret Gospel of Mark. This story of Jesus, if true, is shocking. I was chiefly interested in the uncatalogued manuscripts in the monastery's libraries, of which uh, the chief one was in the top of the tower that uh, dominates the monastery. It was there I made my discovery. I found a copy of a letter by a very early church father, Clement of Alexandria, to somebody called Theodore, and Clement quoted a secret gospel of Mark, which he said had been written by Mark himself for use only by an inner circle of initiates. But what does this gospel actually say? And they come into Bethany, and a certain woman whose brother had died was there. And Jesus went off with her into the garden where the tomb was. And straightway, going in where the youth was, he stretched forth his hand and raised him, seizing his hand. But the youth, looking upon him, loved him, and began to beseech him that he might be with him. And going out of the tomb, they came into the house of the youth, for he was rich. And after six days, Jesus told him what to do, and in the evening the youth comes to him, wearing a linen cloth over his naked body. And he remained with him that night, for Jesus taught him the mystery of the kingdom of God. Some scholars suspect the entire thing is a hoax, that in fact, uh, this letter of Clement wasn't written by Clement at all, but rather it was a forgery, probably from the 20th century, perhaps related in some way to the person who says he found it. about Jesus are not uncommon, such as the Gospel of Judas, which will be covered soon in a future video. However, the depiction of Jesus performing homosexual acts is what makes Secret Mark unusually shocking. Another suspicious factor is that Secret Mark has mysteriously disappeared, and now scholars are unable to test the ink in the letter to verify that it dates back to the right time period. Another interesting clue is that when Morton Smith discovered Secret Mark, he wrote two books on it, arguing for its authenticity. He dedicated his first book, interestingly enough, to Arthur Darby Knock, 
a scholar who believed that Secret Mark was indeed a forgery. Morton Smith then dedicated his companion book to a mysterious person he called the One Who Knows. If Arthur Darby Nock is the one who knows, and Nock believed that Secret Mark was a forgery, then it seems that Morton Smith was leaving clues behind showing what he had done. Morton Smith seems to have left another surprising clue. The letter containing Secret Mark was written on the blank page at the end of a book. On the opposite side of the page, the book specifically focuses on condemning ancient forgeries, exactly like what Morton Smith created when he fabricated Secret Mark. It seems he left behind this irony for personal amusement, not thinking people would pick up on it. And finally, it has been noted that the vocabulary used in the letter and in Secret Mark matches with their supposed author's vocabulary too perfectly. As Ehrman explains, it would be similar to quoting your friend who uses the word like a lot. When quoting her, you might use the word like repeatedly in order to stereotype the way she speaks. However, in doing so, you would likely use like more frequently than she actually uses it. You'd be copying her typical vocabulary, but overdoing it. This is what the author of Secret Mark has done. He's copied the typical writing style of Mark, but he overdid it, accidentally revealing that it's a forgery. Since he would have to have access to clear statistics on Mark's vocabulary, the forgery must be relatively recent. Therefore, Morton Smith is the most likely candidate for the forger.